uh, my name is Tom Carrigan. I'm farming here in Kilkenny. Uh, we have uh, mainly dairy cows and um, I do a bit of engineering work as well. I design machines there for um, agricultural purposes. Um, I suppose today, John is down there. We were looking at uh, cutting kale. We had uh, dry land here, so we had a tough summer. We were very short of feed. We were lucky enough, we had a good neighbour there that allowed us to plant uh, 70 acres of kale. And uh, then we decided to try and harvest it rather than be letting cattle out on tillage ground. It's not a great job. So we tried first with a 6910. We have a John Deere 6910 and a zero grazer. And realistically, once the kale got anyway heavy, the zero grazer wasn't up to the job. And then we needed something bigger. We bought a fusion baler and um, found the fusion boss the 910 a little bit on hills and stuff. So we didn't want to spend big money. Steph and a friend kind of do contracting together, bailing together, and uh, we do each other's work, let's say, and that, and a little bit of higher work. And uh, we were looking at this lady here behind us, and she was in our sins now when we saw it. Um, a few little things, there was two of them. There was seven eight and a seven seven beside each other, both traded in by the same man. And uh, we done a deal, he was there sitting in the yard dealer's yard for a long time, so we done a deal with him anyway for what we consider relatively small money and uh, basically had to spend I suppose three and a half, not all out four thousand on repairs when we got a first uh, front PTO pack had to be done, uh, new seats, exhaust, all, ma mainly cosmetic stuff apart from the front PTO and tractors being bulletproof since uh, just never given us a bit of bother. Now, Compared to the 910, okay, it doesn't have front suspension. It's not the nicest tractor on the road. Bring it into the field and there's just not a tractor that'll stand with it. It's just, and it's very simple. Again, relatively cheap to maintain. We haven't had to do anything. Fingers crossed it'll stay going that way. Ideally, we would have wanted, we would have liked to buy a, a, a 7810, but the price of a 7810, like I suppose from the day that I bought the 6910 to now, is the first tractor that I ever bought that hasn't lost any value that I'd still get the same money that I paid for day one and that's over eight years ago. The, the popularity seems to be, uh, for the 10 series John Deere, seems to be just getting more and more like in the harder got. So yeah, definitely we did look at buying uh, a 7, 8, 10 but just couldn't justify it for what we were doing with it. Okay, we two mores on this uh, and then the fusion onto it. I have a 20 ton dump trailer we put onto it, it has the weight and that it suits it, you know. Uh, for for us, uh, this okay. It doesn't have the refinement of the the 10 series. It doesn't have the the front suspension. I suppose the gears are a little different. Um, has it the power? Yes. Has it the weight? Yes. Is it as reliable? I think so. Um, so it, it just suited us. Like we gave 16 odd thousand for that. I mean, where where would you guess a 200 horsepower tractor that spec for that kind of money? Now we did have to do a few jobs to it, but not uh, nothing you know nothing that couldn't be sorted out by in any standard workshop like any farm workshop. So that's that that was the reason behind buying it, um, and it's proven to be as reliable as we thought it would be. Uh, going off the the nine ten, if I was going let's say driving a tractor on the road all day, would I pick this? No, I'd go for the the nine ten because it's just more comfortable to drive. But if I was doing anything where I needed weight and power, I'd pick this every day. If I was out in the field ploughing or I was out tilling or something, it's as comfortable as any tractor in the field. So that's I, I'm happy enough for what for what we use it for. Definitely, it's worth its you know it's worth its place here in the yard.